As a, as a child growing up in Ireland, uh, surrounded by the ocean, I was uh, fascinated by the sea and always wanted to um, have a job that involved me somehow uh, working at sea. Uh, most of my, my both my granddads and, and, uh, and their fathers were sailors, so it was probably in my blood. Um, I started at, uh, at school, and one of the subjects I was uh, good at and interested in was chemistry. However, as I progressed through my academic uh, life, I didn't, wasn't really interested in working in a laboratory. I was still uh, interested in getting out to the, to the ocean. And a project came up which involved uh, a chemistry project uh, working on a ship in the ocean uh, in North Queensland and I jumped at the chance and it gave me uh, the opportunity to pursue uh, something that was uh, interested, something I was very interested in uh, and something I was good at. So I uh, did a research uh, project um, in the ocean which led on to uh, my PhD studies um, and that took me uh, around the uh, Great Barrier Reef region in Australia. So it was a pretty nice part of the ocean to work in. Uh, and that led on to some opportunities for working uh, in Antarctica uh, on the longer voyages there. And uh, again, I jumped at these uh, opportunities. Um, and uh, in all, I've spent uh, over a year of my life on the Aurora Australis, the Australian uh, Antarctic icebreaker uh, working in the uh, Southern Ocean um, and following on from that I felt as though I'd, I'd, I'd done enough um, in the ocean um, and I was very interested in these chemical processes and, and what went on further back in time and that led me to the, to the job I have now looking at the ice core records which look at these chemical changes in the ocean further back uh, through time. So uh, stay tuned and see what I'm up to next. <laughs>